Congress, Suzanne Northrup, has been working as a trans medium, and she's been interpreting and gaining a reputation for her integrity, accuracy, and responsibility worldwide. Her work has brought meaning to the messages from the loved ones who have passed on. And this gathering here today will be no exception. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Miss Suzanne Northrop. Sweet, thank you very much. Um, just a couple of quick things that I think is important. Thank you for doing this journey with me today. And I think you all know that this journey is really just about love and that it's our loved one's way of letting us know that that connection has continued. Uh, now, I, I tend to get things real quick, so be awake. And the other second thing is I get names, and don't just listen to dead people's names, because remember, dead people are connected to living people, and they're going to identify the best way that they can. Got it? Okay, I'm double-crossed. I'm hearing the two names twice. There's either a James over here, or there's either a James over there. And it's coming with another name with an R, Robert or Ronald, please. Jamie and Rodney, and who are they you, please? Um, Jamie is my ex, and Rodney is his father. Are they both passed? Uh, no, they're still living. They're still living, okay. Now, I have to ask you this, please. When they're making, mentioning their names, they're mentioning another male vibration that's connected to you They had to be passed. It would be another same level person. Because I'm getting the sense that this person, now, did, they, did he lose a brother? Did they lose another brother or male in their family? Um, no, they lost their mother. Their but mother, okay. Do you know her? Did you know them well? I knew her. Because she's coming in, and that's how she's making identification. Uh, but I have to just, real quick here, is there a younger male connected to you who's also passed? Okay, that's it. See how they tied you in together? I, I, knew there was, I knew I was hearing Robert and Ron. That's the way they're letting me know. Now, this mom really liked you. Do you understand? You are almost like a mother to her. I mean, she was almost like a mother to you. Do you understand real strong? Now, she's telling me, did she know about the split while she was here? No. Okay, because she's telling me after she went over. Do you understand? This has had a big effect, believe it or not, on him and his relationship within the family. Do you understand this? She's cool with it, but that's her way of letting me know. Now, was she sick? Yes. Because she's telling me she really went through a really intense illness. Yes. And she was very much the center of the family. Yes. And with her passing, much of the family disperted in a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. um, are you still in contact with him? Yes. Okay. It's important that you tell him that his mom came through, all right? Because I know that they were extremely, extremely connected. I mean, she was definitely, him and her were really strong. And there's been difficulty as well with his dad. Yes. Over, over this whole passing. Now, did they move? Um... The whole family kind of moved, like okay. the father. Because I feel like I'm dispersed. I mean, I feel like we're all over the place. And this has been very, very hard for your friend. Yes. Because he needs this sort of this connection. And she says you were somehow instrumental, even though you may not be together, together. You're still instrumental in making that connection because he sort of needs to do it. I almost feel like you have acted like a bridge. Do, do you know what I mean like that? Mm -hmm. and, and that's going to be a very, very key role to you. So she's really thanking you for, for that connection. Now, I think I might still be with you in here, but is there also a George or a Joseph with you? Um, mom's name is Georgia. That's your mom? Yeah. Is she passed? No. She's still here? Yeah. Then her mother must be passed? Yes. Because she's also coming through.